Stellantis again. Stellantis acts as another 400 jobs in Detroit. Ah, and I want to cover why this is just a dumb move. So what they're doing is they're looking further out. This is a bad, short-sighted thing. So they're going to continue to pay employees, so that's good. It's not going to take effect until January 5th, so these people are looking further out. But what they're doing is they're outsourcing these jobs. So they are, the work's still going to be done. It's just not going to be done by UAW employees. So, uh, and they're going to pay the UAW employees the, the 74% of their income. This just shows what Stellantis does. Well, screw up after screw up. That they are just, I mean, they're spending money after spending money and their their fixes are so, they take so long to come into effect that it's not even funny. And I forget where here they said that they're outsourcing, but in any case, somewhere in here, as I'm talking, it's hard to uh, to look, I guess. That they are, it's a, it's a sequencing plant. So basically, they will lean manufacturing, say, or just the plant's too small. They don't have enough room to have all the materials in there at once. So what they do is they have these places at sequence so that they, like, reverse load a semi so the parts come off the semi in the order they need it, and then they go right to the line, and then they're on the cars that they need. Some of them... Like I've seen in the Toyota factories where they have like a rack of parts and then the parts are sequenced on the rack. So the assembly person just grabs the next, grabs the next part. So, I mean, you're continuing to pay 74% of current wages. Um, two years of free health coverage. I mean, it's good they're doing these things, but they're, they're just not gaining anything by it. So when you outsource this stuff, you lose control over it like this so it's going to be done by another company you you know as a say new ceo of to Slantless, if you want to make changes to this it's a it's a contract worse than dealing with the uaw it's a contract with another company to that that things are going to have to be changed so yeah better pill to swallow definitely uh, definitely some uncertainty uh, but it just it you know maybe in 10 years it'll make some improvements but it's gonna make it harder for Stellantis to get their work done in 400 jobs I mean that's that's more than a couple so that's a lot of people so then these people have to be hired and trained there's gonna be mistakes it's there's gonna be problems it's gonna be you know a year two years before this facility that's doing the sequencing is going to, you know, be efficient and be effective. So it may be a long-term cost savings, but definitely not a short-term cost savings. Probably going to cost more because you're paying these employees that are being axed 74% of their pay for one year plus their health benefits and you're paying these new employees. So this is going to be a increase in expenses for the two years that's coming. So not very well thought through. Maybe they see it as beneficial to their long-term profitability, but just not nothing that's going to help them right now. They, they've got much bigger problems because they're also doing this 1,100 job cut at um, the Gladiator production. So when you're cutting production, and again, employees will receive 74% 70 of their pay for one year. Why not just build like a stripped down classic model that you can sell for 30, 35 grand. Maybe your margin would be about zero, but you'd be doing something with these people instead of just paying them to sit home. The, yeah, this, they're, they're just spending more and more money. It's really expensive to get through, get rid of employees. If they could come up with a way to sell these cars, they would be doing so much better. But when you have a lame duck CEO, this uh, Carlos <laughs> Tavares, I have no idea how to say it, 
But he's retiring in 2026, and he knows that now. They don't know who's replacing it. So this is another thing. Like, yeah, they're making these changes, but you got, got some guy sitting there for two years that is out. You know, he already knows he's leaving. I, I thought it was a typo. Like, I, I double-checked this. Like, seriously? He's retiring in 2026 because of the contract. I mean, if this was a, a company that had any hope of responding to market conditions oh okay let's let's take take tesla i mean yeah okay elon will probably be there until his dying day but if this was somebody under elon it would have happened i mean you would know the person was leaving because they would be already gone when the announcements made it, it would have been instant it wouldn't be like oh we're gonna think about changing this and spend a ton of money for two years while we work on it it would be done. It would be over. The change would be made. I mean, yes, there's UAW contracts, but those employees are there. They know what they're doing. I mean, change their process, improve how they work. I've I've worked with the UAW and I've been in the UAW. You, that they, they want to keep those jobs too. They want the company to be profitable, because that's how they keep their jobs. Is if they keep the company profitable. UAW is not out to destroy these car companies. Yes, the uh, it might be a lot of news when there's negotiations, but they're looking to keep keep the company profitable and keep everything positive. Just these decisions that you've got to pay somebody for a year and pay their health insurance for two years. That's that's a crazy amount of money to be paying out, especially when your sales are down so much. So. I don't know what Stellantis is thinking. Well, okay, I do know what they're thinking. They're thinking long-term, they're going to be better off. And so long-term, the projected expenses are lower, but they're not going to be better off. Their people and their processes are going to be broke. They're going to have to deal with more levels of management. They're going to have to deal with another company. I'm guessing this other company that's taking on the uh, sequencing is not UAW. Or there would be absolutely no gain. I'm assuming they're they're trying to cut the wage of the workers by going to a, another company by contracting out the sequencing. But they they're just not going to. They're just not going to save the money they think they're going to. It's going to look good on paper. So it's it's one of those things where you you do like a cost benefit analysis and you come up with how much money you're going to save. And then you leave out all the other things. You say like, oh, we're going to you know, cut the wages because it's going to be a non-union company. But a lot of times it's a different facility. It's, you know, so there's more, there's more hauling. A lot of times there's more damage. I mean, these people are, they're not going to care as much. They're not going to even work for Stellantis. They're going to work for, you know, third-party logistics, whoever. There's going to be more damage. There's going to be more mistakes there's going to be a lot more mistakes in in the sequencing the parts aren't going to be in the right order because you have all new people doing it and you have people that don't even work for the company doing it they just don't have the same level of buy-in you have people that are making less doing it so it's not career level to them because somebody at Stellantis that is in the UAW is probably hoping to stay there till they retire some of these logistics companies I you know a lot of times they're just working there while they work their way through college or something. It, it's not, it, I, don't, I don't want to say they don't care at all, but they don't care as much. They don't have the same uh, investment. They don't have the same level of needing to keep that company, keep that company going. And when something does happen, it, they, don't, they don't necessarily care as much. So this is just the wrong direction for Stellantis. To be outsourcing, they need to be focusing on making cars people can afford and getting them into, you know, the hands of of the consumer. I, I just can't get over how dumb, how dumb this is. But, all right, I, I'm sure everybody watching this would agree. Uh, Stellantis screws over the UAW and screws themselves. If you own shares in Stellantis, I don't know why you still own them. All right, that's all I got. Thank you.